my name's Lane Lockhart, and I massage rock stars. I know. I haven't always lived like this. <laughs> I've made a lot of missteps. <sighs> but I've had a lot of success. Welcome to Rockstar Massage. Here on Rockstar Massage, we'll talk about stuff that no one will talk about. Plus, tips and tricks to make you a rock star in your massage therapy career. Oh, hey. <laughs> Today's topic is how not to call your clients fat. I call the client fat. Well, hold on. Before you think I am Satan's minion, let me explain. This is actually what I said. Usually, people with your body type don't like to tissue. Yes, that's what I said. Now's a great time to discuss fat. Fat is adipose tissue. It's comprised of white, beige, and brown fat. All of them have a little bit of different functions, but we mostly have white fat in our body. An excess amount of white fat is also a symptom of illness. There is also fat categorized by its location. Subcutaneous fat is right under the skin on top of the muscle, and visceral fat is located in the abdomen around all the organs. Weight gain can be due to pregnancy, but also there are a lot of other health conditions and or illnesses that cause weight gain. They are a symptom. Kidney disease, Cushing's syndrome, diabetes, Hashimoto's, polycystic ovarian syndrome, heart disease, and liver disease. Weight gain could also be a symptom of mental conditions such as anxiety, depression, and trauma. Now let's talk about cortisol. Cortisol is a hormone that your body produces in a fight or flight mode. All right, this is it, people. Let's move. Let's go, 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 go. And when the stress persists, the cortisol will keep producing and cause weight gain. This also means that your sympathetic nervous system is turned on. The adrenal glands release cortisol in the response to stress or fear as a part of the body's fight or flight response. Also in the brain, the structure known as the amygdala alerts the hypothalamus, which then signals a range of responses, including release of adrenaline and cortisol. When we were being chased by a saber-toothed tiger, and also in times of famine when we needed to reserve our fat for storage and energy. So whatever reason there is an excessive amount of adipose tissue in the body, it's there to protect the body. And that excessive amount of adipose tissue hurts. It's saying, that hurts. I'm protecting my body, get off. So in conclusion, deep tissue is inappropriate for people with excessive amount of adipose tissue. I outrank you. Allow your client to convince you they want deep tissue. Ask them questions like, have you had deep tissue before? How often do you have deep tissue? And by the way, I've been overweight the majority of my life. Hey, thank you so much for joining us today. Please hit a like and subscribe and notify so you can keep updated with all our devilish work. <laughs> <laughs>